hello everyone this is a continuation of my previous video where i use spring cloud stream for kafka messaging so in, in spring cloud stream we can plug and unplug different messaging systems so whether it's a RabbitMQ, kafka whatever we need we can include that so in my in my case in my application i'm using kafka so i create a consumer initially i added so many dependencies not so many only spring cloud stream and spring cloud stream binder kafka stream so it's to bind to that stream then you have kafka stream itself so that are the three dependencies we need then what exactly i did is i create a command uh, uh, yeah command model object model class where I am using Lambert for constructor getter setter then uh, the next step I create a consumer that consumer using the uh, cloud stream messaging sync uh, it will uh, yeah, denote the input and output for sending and receiving messages so for this we have a sync class sync is a uh, input class for sending uh, consuming the data so if you are going here we can see here in bird so it's to, uh, there is one thing called subscribe channel if you are going there subscribe channel and subscribe and uh, subscribe is there so that's that's exactly sync interface is doing so I am creating a producer interface I need a producer class also I know I am not adding any method to them so producer implements I produce Okay, so that's all. Okay, uh, I made some mistake here in the phrase. So I am done with that. Producer is there. Producer is there. In producer, what I will include? That's a question. So in producer, I should have a source. So I need to bind with uh, enable binding so I enable binding I need to provide the source dot class this is an uh, output class so source dot class So, so we have so many options but we are using this one okay so that session I did and I have a private source instance also source my source like anything i need a getter setter so i am just using my data annotation for the book so i have everything right now then what i'm going to do is i need to go to the next step you will have a controller and uh, from controller we will do the rest so i'm going to create the controller right now so i have new package controller and inside controller i'm going to create a java class called kafka not kafka string controller string controller then I will auto wear my 
producer. Okay, then I'm done with that. And uh, I need to mention it is a ROS controller. And also, if I am here, it's a consumer, and I need to make it as a common or service, probably. Then I should have a producer and here I need to mention it as a service and only I can auto wear that particular class so inside my I mentioned this controller and I will have a method that's written a string data it's public string publish Publish message. Publish message. That's it. Then need to get a request body of type comment. Get request body type comment. Oh, that's not the one. Okay, so I got a stream or a command and uh, I need to mention the command here. So I am done with that one, but I need to mention the request mapping. And uh, inside this one, I am mentioning that value. So it should be send message. Probably send is fine. Then I also need to mention the method. So method will be cash. So in producer what I'm going to do is I have producer here. I need to get my producer. I need to get my source here. Producer, I already saved that one, but still it's your Let me get to and set up. No, it's not working right now. So what I am going to do is I am going to create get and center itself since Lombok is not working for my case right now. I guess the plugin is not activated probably. So what I am going to do is Yeah. 
getter and setter so I'm just going for getter hopefully I will go for setter also okay so I have that session and here could use so uh, still I am getting that problem producer producer okay so basically in this case I'm just changing into this one since I, uh, I am facing some problem with that one then I will use the output method of that particular one then that output there is a send message over there and uh, we need to use the message builder here this also from spring Spring framework messaging support messaging builder with payload and we need to mention the payload here then what else we are going to do is we need to set header okay that's inside this one Set header, set headers. Here only one header where I am mentioning my type is chat. Then we need to build. So we are using the builder pattern you see build. so with various parameters as I don't need for build okay I know we are done with that producer and I am just returning success So like that we can do so what are the things we need to remember in this case for the producer we should have source so source if you are going inside this source we can see it's an output so message channel sent a message it's a messaging class not a class interface where we can send various messages whether it's a key value or whatever then that's the one we need to implement in our producer and in whenever we are sending a message producer we are getting that source interface and there is one method output there and uh, I am taking that output method inside that output method we are using the send after output method we will get the message channel then we are using the send to send that message and we are getting any help from message builder with payload that said this uh, header also then uh, we are just building that that's all about sending a message using spring streams so in my next video we will probably
see how this works. Let's start the testing phase we will do. And uh, the consumer wants to use it and when the consumer is listening all the time. That's why we implement a method here. But in this case, I don't need to do anything. I'm just using my my source source then to send the message message. That's all.